What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode on the Minecraft server. So I had to actually go out just for a little bit on the server. Not not a, not a real life. I did, but I'll, I'll be talking about that later. This, Come on, there we go. There we go. But uh, I heard that someone has stolen... Oh, man. Who's fighting? Wait, that's not even how you spell. Dead gassed. And I also didn't know about this, so thank you, B Double. I probably should have watched uh, the make. I, I watched some of the making of the Nether Hub, but not not the rail part. And I didn't know that you could just break it and it, it will go into the hopper there. So that that's awesome because now all you have to do is press the button to go back in. And I hope that it kind of stops the people because I mean, let's face it, on the previous season. Um, there was an issue with theft on the server for the uh, the carts, which, you know, someone actually made uh, Iron Golem and just made a bunch of freaking carts for everyone. So let's hope that that stops the people from kind of stealing right now because that, that was that was really annoying. But like I said, uh, I don't even know if uh, these will make it. I, I, I only had enough to make a... Uh, five of the the frames there which is a little crappy considering that there's a there's a couple here there's that one there as well i'm hoping that maybe i'm gonna i'm gonna check a couple of these chests oi oi maybe it was bash Oi, get out of here, Mia. Did he knock down? Oh my god, did he not put the emerald back? There we go. Or did I just make, get, get missed? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna kill Badge. I'm gonna kill you, Badge. I'm not even joking. There we go. So I don't know who stole. But I'm just kind of throwing this out as a peace offer here. I gave uh, five here. And that's all I can afford. Oh, you know what? Maybe. I can't tell if that's a ghost. I, th I think that's a ghost item there. But let me let me go check something here. Let me go in here. Not here. But here. You know what? I'll be right back. I'm going to finish off something here. I'm going to kill a couple of these cows. But don't worry. It's for the greater good. Okay, so I'm back. I made myself uh, nine more item frames. I put two up back over there without uh, without recording that by accident. But uh, yeah, I, I just wanna I just wanna say to you guys, I would not lie to you guys at all. I did not take these uh, these emerald diamond er, emerald diamonds. These uh, emerald ores. Uh, I honestly have no idea who did it but as generic beast stated uh he's more than willing to pay me money if i can find out who it is so i'm gonna try and do that um i, I put these kind of as kind of as like a little peace offer i know a lot of people thought me and generic b were were kind of serious but the thing you guys gotta realize is we're all we're all adults we like to have fun on the server we don't take things too seriously and or anything like that i mean it's a game for god's sake so obviously we, we were just having some fun and you know it's a little little piece off of her accidentally killing generic b twice the well the second time was more so uh on purpose than than by accident so i, I didn't realize that the chicken is now uh the chicken is now in a costume. But yeah, Generic B actually made this, I believe. He uh, He's selling some stuff for, for Halloween. So if you guys want to wanna, wanna make yourself into a, a premium costume, which is... These are just the premium costumes. So I think these are one diamond block each. So that's nine. You know what? I might even just buy those. Because the Wither Skeletons can get a little, little difficult to farm every once in a while here. It says... Payment here, free trick or treat with every purchase. A <laughs> little pumpkin pie. Whoa. I, I don't want these. Why is it giving it out for free? I didn't buy anything. Oh, God. So you got the fantasy costumes over here, which I wish he named them. Like, I, I know that's obviously like a knight 
The, my favorite one I took a look over here is the spooky costumes. You have these, which would be like a scarecrow. You got the ghost here because you just be wear the the white tunic and then the white leather cap as well. And it gives you a eight minute invisibility potion. And then this one, I don't know what this one is. It kind of looks like a zombie almost. Oh, it is a zombie costume. Oh. Wait. You? I honestly did not know that you can. I didn't know you can actually. What? I didn't know you can name chests. Iron Man costume. Chicken costume. Oh my god. See, like, now I'm like. My mind is. This is ridiculous. Please don't kill, feed, or kiss Wartilda. Uncle Jenny. I promise I won't, Jenny. That's kind of gross. But. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. Do you have to just name the chest that? That's that's honestly the first time I've ever seen that. That's weird. I'm going to have to learn what the heck you do for that. I feel like a big noob. That That's obviously something I missed, and that, that almost seems recent. But, uh, I got to do two things. You know what? Let me let me go back. I, I'll be right back, actually, because I got to grab some, some, uh, some items here, because we got to go make a... Uh, little visit to uh, Vintage Beef because, well, I want to wanna pay him a little visit. Actually, in the meantime, um, while my parents were here, I had one day to myself. So I'm going to, I recorded some stuff of the uh, the digging. With, by the way, the haste too. Mwah, it's, it's beautiful. You guys have no idea how huge of a help that is. Um, right now, I actually borrowed, and I asked, I asked Doc's permission for it. And I... Uh, because he has the iron farm right now. I asked if I could borrow some, some diamonds to complete the, uh, the, uh, wow, I'm, I'm forgetting the name of it. Basically to give me haste to the, the pillar? No, that's not it. Why am I blanking out on this name? I'm sorry. My, my parents left this morning, so I'm not like, I woke, I had to wake up at like seven in the morning and it was like an emotional goodbye because I don't get to see my parents that often, but I'm going to talk about this stuff more in the, uh, more in the, the not the future but uh in in this episode as you as you can see i did a lot of work i actually dug a majority of this out which is which was the worst part because i'm trying to bring this down so i could just go up there and dig without actually accidentally hitting the wall or anything like that uh, as you can see this is five i think it's five more blocks till we actually get to the the bottom here i just, I just wanted to show a little little progress work here yeah here we go one two three four five and something actually happened i had to run away from ether because he showed up and he tried to drop an anvil but just look how just look how fast this is look how fast this is with an efficiency five pick this is freaking ridiculous unfortunately though the uh even though it's an unbreaking three when you're still breaking these blocks at a at a high rate like this your your dur durability tends to uh go down some so that's the only unfortunate part uh this one I actually can't even, I can't even uh, fix up anymore because it's just quote unquote too expensive. Even though, if uh, given the opportunity, I would have easily just sat there and grinded out the extra levels that I, 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 I don't know. I just think it's a, it's a dumb, dumb thing that you're not able to continue, continue uh, fixing your your pickaxes over. So, like I said, this is, uh, this is getting there. This is gonna actually come to a little bit faster than i anticipated but like i said i'll be right back i actually gotta go grab some stuff for vintage beef and i'm gonna show a little clip here a little montage of what happened and like i said stick to the end of the the the, the little video because something ethel pays me a visit and it's completely unexpected and i get terrified so stick the, till the end there and then i'll be right back so hold on to your butts <laughs>
Okay, so we are now at Beef's place. Man, this place is looking god dang sexy. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I gotta find out where his new bed is. I know he just changed his sleepy location. Yeah, right over here. Okay, so I heard that Mr. Vintage Beef is uh, in dire need of new quartz. So I am going to request two things. I'm going to give him the quartz and then the 10 diamond. And then we are going to give him a little, little something to write here. Hey, beef. Come on. We, we need to do this in professional form. We'll pretend that's a tab. I am here to ask for your help. As, as you can see, I have given you... 10 diamonds and a few quartz blocks. I am looking to get a tank installed with a squid, of course. <laughs> God, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, consider the quartz a tip uh let's see i can give you the name tag upon request uh, i am wanting to get the tank installed at my new <laughs> assassins hq in spawn uh, big red crosshair. Uh, you can design... Actually, well, we, seeing as we're trying to make this professional, you can design this as you may please. I will construct my building in accordance to what you have built for me in terms of the tank so don't worry about the no walls floors doors etc that's not how you do it thank you you for your business Pows on pows. We will sign that and done. A request. There we go. And then we will put that there. So basically, as as I was saying there, is I, I kind of want a tank. Uh-oh. Um, does he have a... Oh my god, there's pumpkin seeds everywhere! Why am I getting all the freaking pumpkin seeds? Okay, so we need to find out where is... I think the entrance is right here. So yes, um, I'm actually wanting to get a fish tank installed at the HQ. The uh, Assassin's HQ there. And like I said, uh, however he designs his aquarium, I will actually build around it. To kind of give it a little bit of a different feel. Because typically I build like, you know very cliche kind of houses but i figure if beef actually makes um you know a really interesting type of tank uh with kind of weird different edges and everything maybe i can actually try and force myself to build around that although i do know like a lot of people are saying that they they underestimate my my building in this game because i don't know why <laughs> it's really weird but uh <clears throat> yeah today's probably gonna be a a, a quicker video than uh than normal because as i state as i stated earlier on uh, i just actually dropped off my parents today so mentally i'm not all there quite yet uh in terms of chit chatting with you guys because i'm kind of sad and i always feel like i kind of uh forget how to to be me <laughs> when it comes to to recording because i don't know five days doesn't seem like a lot and the the crazy thing is oh my god uh on tuesday the 18th the 8th my brother he, um, he wasn't even supposed to... He wasn't going to come here. 
Uh, he, he, if he would have, he obviously would have came with my parents or something like that. But uh, he actually got a new job and he, he put in his two weeks and said, "I'm going to come visit you because he got a job he wanted and pretty much wants to come out and celebrate." So I'm not going to say no to that. Uh, it's my brother, you know. I, I love him to bits. So whenever it comes to family, I'm going to have to take some time off. Um, it won't be as long as it was with my parents here. Uh, my parents were here for a week actually, so that was uh. It was a really great time off, and uh, I, I love them dearly, but man, trying to get myself all organized to the point where um, I, I have videos at, le at least like one or two a day gets a little tiresome. Not, and again, I am love my parents to bits, but just, just the stress sometimes that uh, I put on myself to, to get videos out uh, can can destroy me sometimes, which, which sucks, but oh god, that was scary. But... Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna actually. I don't know. I, I need to. I need. I want. You know what? I'm just gonna dig this out. Uh, I'm gonna like I said, it's gonna be a short video. I, I kind of just want to talk about the experience I had with my with my parents here. Um, for those people who follow me, they know that I've actually only been out in BC by by myself for actually it's coming up on a year here, which is crazy to think about. But, um, you know, my, my parents were able to actually come out this time as opposed to me going out there, which was lovely. Uh, aside from the fact that uh, I, I honestly, I kept bugging them because, you know, as soon as they got here, the very first day was raining. And the, the day before that they came, it was just beautiful, it was sunny and everything. And literally for a week straight here, uh, th th this part, this part sucked because I, I, I know I had no control over it or anything like that, but... Um, my parents for the the entire duration uh it was it was just piss pouring rain and you know but it put a damper on some stuff but we made do with what we we had i mean you know we're not we weren't really excited to to see each other to go out and do all these extravagant things but you know this family it's good to just to see them every once in a while oh diamonds nice look at this this is gonna be oh no is that not my fortune? Okay, no. We're, even though my fortune picks in a break here, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Uh, so, literally, like the, like I said, the first day that they they got here, it started raining and it did not stop until today, the day they left, uh, which which sucked because you know I had all these these things planned. I want to go hiking up a mountain. I actually bought us whale watching tickets, but it it, it was just too bad. It, like the weather was just really bad, and we also. We went to Vancouver one day, and the crazy thing is, um, I I almost got stuck over there uh, one night because of the the weather. Like the 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 the, uh, the wind was so bad that they actually canceled ferries. It was like all over the news and everything. So if you guys like watch the the news or anything like that, you may have may have heard some of the stuff about it. And it, man, it was bad. Like I don't know. I I I wanted to get home, but you know, there's not much we could do. Uh, thankfully, uh, well, actually not thankfully yet because I, I gotta finish what I'm saying. Um, so I actually went on Twitter to just because like, you know they actually tweet out what's going on, and I read that the ferry that we were supposed to get on was canceled. They canceled. I think they allowed the 5:30 on, or something like that. And um, so basically, what happened was the I read I read the tweet saying that it's canceled. So I end up calling you know, the, the BC ferries hotline to see if I could reschedule another, uh, another trip the following day, because, you know, the 931, which I, which I booked for, because we, we were spending the, the day in Vancouver and not coming back till later in the evening, said it was canceled. So I ended up calling BC ferries. They, they gladly switched me over to uh, a different time uh, the, the following day. Actually, yeah, a different time earlier in the morning because we we didn't plan on actually staying the <laughs> an extra day. Like, we really brought clothes for one night because that's all we wanted to do was just spend one night in Vancouver. And uh, so literally after I get off the phone, I, I'm, like, panicking because there's a lot of people who were, were expecting to go home that night. I, I, I wasn't panicking in the sense that I didn't think we'd be able to like, make another ferry because, you know, it, it's canceled and I got my, my time booked. So I was like, okay, I got tomorrow's time booked. I don't have to worry about, about like not getting uh, avoided on the, on the, on the ferry. So I ended up booking a hotel, um, without, 
without really thinking. Well, not not that I had a chance to think or anything, but like, uh, oh, this is lovely. Look at this. I'm already getting paid back in the diamonds that I gave Beef to make the the uh, the tank. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, I booked a hotel and everything, and literally after I booked the hotel and he's like telling me that there is no cancellation uh if you do cancel it's a hundred percent uh no you don't get any money back guaranteed or anything like that uh so we start moving and we're like okay so we're th we assume that these people are just you know the uh, the ferry people are just moving us along to to get out of here because you know if all the ferries are canceled why keep these people around so we we thought that uh they were they were ushering people out but what it was was it was actually one more ferry was coming in and so after booking that hotel and everything we go through the line and we're like we just read and i got confirmation on the phone that the ferry is canceled and so we we decided we had to decide on the spot whether or not we were going to stay the night or just go back home so we decided to go back home and take the the hit on the the um the fee for the hotel which which sucked because it's a little over 100 bucks a night but we 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 had no intention at all what whatsoever to to stay in vancouver and we also didn't we weren't even we weren't even sure whether or not we'd get home tomorrow because or the next day because the weather was just so bad and everything so that was uh that was the highlight of the vacation in uh in a scary sense you know it wasn't like the best highlight or anything like that but you know we we got to check out vancouver my parents were they had a good time there we went to coquitlam mall ran into to some guy who knows me which was crazy because i was like talking to my parents about that earlier and lo and behold that happens which was it i don't know i don't i don't think it's like awkward or anything like that but it's always like man i never prepare for these type of things like who prepares to like meet someone so it's always just not, not awkward in a bad way, but it's just awkward because I'm, like, completely thrown off that I'll run into someone who knows me at a at a friggin' mall like that, so. But it was it was good. Uh, got to the, unfortunately, didn't get to chat too long, but I had a little chat and, you know, said he watched my stuff, so I had to obviously thank him for that type of stuff, which was, it was really nice to meet him, so. If you know who you are. Uh, so, yeah, that, like... We were pretty much water like we want like i said i wanted to go whale watching and that got uh that got canceled so it was a bit of a rough week for us because like i said i had all this stuff planned out and it all got pooped on just by some rain which was crap just pure crap man like it could have not gone any worse but my my, my dad was adamant on saying it didn't bother him he's like oh we'd come out here to just to see you so you know if it rains it rains and He's being a typical dad, and here I am. I'm like, man, this sucks. You know, I told him I was gonna go take him hiking and all this, and ugh, it was just bad. But uh, we made we we made do. Uh, luckily, there was a couple days where it was uh, sunny and everything, so we we got to go check out Vancouver or Victoria and everything like that. So it, it wasn't too bad, I suppose. But it just sucks that uh, the weather decided to raid as soon as they got here, and then become sunny the uh, the day they leave, which is quite typical <laughs> to say the least so that that part sucked but yeah that um you know like i said it was really great to to see my parents again and all that jazz so uh i'm gonna hopefully now get back into uh into uh well, i don't know like I, I honestly have no idea what's gonna happen right now because I got my brother trying to come out for, or not come out for a week, but he is coming out for a week. So now I gotta, now I gotta stop. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I gotta try and do other videos. And it sucks because I'm actually in a really good Minecraft mood right now. I have been for the last little bit. I don't, I don't know what kicked in or something, but I don't know. I'm really wanting to play right now. And it sucks that you know, as soon as I get that feeling, I'm being bombarded by family, which... You know, to me, family always comes first, and, you know, I love you guys, I love you like family, but you're not blood family, so, um, I, I hope to get out a couple more episodes of Minecraft before my brother comes out, um, I actually think I'm gonna probably do a Q&A when he comes out, I'll, I'll get you guys to send some answers, or questions, don't, don't send anything right now, because I'm not even 
remotely prepared for that. I'm just getting back in the groove to to record and, and play other games as well. So as soon as um as soon as that actually gets back or when he when he gets here, I'll I'll send out a, a little video where you guys can ask him some questions. You know, it might be your chance to try and get some embarrassing stuff out of out of him to to answer about me. But don't ask too embarrassing questions. So um. Yeah, like like I said, uh, today I, I this is more of like a little update video. I didn't really want to spend too much time on here. I'm I'm I'm, ex I'm extremely exhausted. My my parents really destroyed my sleep schedule. I'm typically used to sleeping in until like you know twelve almost every day, and here I am waking up at like eight and everything, and just feeling exhausted as soon as the day ends. But man, like I said. This is going to be done a lot faster than I anticipated. Thank you, and shout out to Doc M for allowing me to uh, to go and borrow some of the iron. Because if it wasn't for him, this honestly would not have been even remotely this done. So, huge thanks to, to Doc M. If you haven't checked him out, go check him out. YouTube.com slash Doc M77. So, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I don't know. I got, got lots lots of work to do, not just Minecraft, but other games, because those other games are easier to record than Minecraft, because Minecraft requires me to actually sit down and chat with you guys and think of topics and all that. So, like I said, I'm, I'm back, but uh, unfortunately, the lack of videos, uh, or there's going to be a little lack of videos right now just because, well, I'm busy trying to get prepared for my brother. Let me grab that iron. That's what I want. There we go. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below, and I shall talk to you guys later. Peace out, Girl Scouts.